Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G and look how incredible these brand new Lightyear movie hyperspeed series ships look. They look absolutely incredible. You're not going to want to miss this. And so we just found this one and this one, the XL01, the XL02. That's the 01, this is the 02 at Walmart and had already found this Zerg fighter ship. But um, you're not going to want to miss this. We're going to dive on in and take a look at these two and then just have this one for comparison. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time a new video comes up. Talk to us in the comments. Let us know what you think of these incredible new micro figs and their ships. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super is this great all right friends so let's go ahead and dive on in let's take a look at both of these incredible new light year action figure well hyperspeed series of these micro action figures and this these cool new ships so let's we're gonna get started with the xl01 and then the xl02 and see what exactly uh these are and how incredible they are so Give me a second. All right, perfect. Let's get just a little bit closer. And look how awesome that looks. So again, the movie for Disney's, uh, Disney's and Pixar's Lightyear comes out a little bit later this year and it's not so far away anymore. And look how great these ships look. Look at this hyperspeed series, how great they all look. And right now we're about to do this one and this one, I believe. So. Uh, wait, 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 this one and this one. So, I have land, landing gear right there, retractable landing gear, and just can't wait to get this open and to collect all of them. There's no write-up on the back outside of that. It just says complete your fleet, and pilot's ship right there. Okay, so let's get this one open. Let's see if I can open it without destroying my package here. That should be fine right there. Let's bring this this way. And I'm pretty sure as excited as I am, not just to look at this, but to see this movie, if in fact you're watching this before the movie came out. Okay, so let's take a look at this super micro fig. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so the arms, I would assume do move. I'm like, it's not just gonna go crack, is it? I'm like, ah, I hope they're supposed to move because I am definitely bending them forward. Let's zoom in here. Look at this. A little bit of dot printing right there. So yeah, when you zoom in, it's not smooth. It's kind of like this big old stipples, I guess. Okay, let's bring that down. Let's see his legs. Those do come forward to essentially a 90 degree angle, that's cool. And I doubt the head, no it doesn't turn, you can see it right there. But look how small this is, because this is my, literally my thumbnail. Isn't that crazy? And it looks really cool actually. Okay, cool. And let's get the ship out. Like, uh oh, I don't want to break it. There we go. Just kill this out this way. And then this little rubber band right here is just keeping this little hatch closed. But, let's, first of all, take a moment to admire how great this looks. Let me set all this aside. Just get this out of here for a second. Okay, awesome. And 
let's get even closer here. Okay, so this is the XL01. And look how cool this looks. Let's see this retractable landing gear. So, because we just pull it out like that. This one comes this way. Like that. Looks pretty outstanding. We can probably even have it on a stand like that. But, okay. Great detail on this. Look at that mold. How great all that looks. Right here where it says XL01. Look at these engines. Yep. You place it like that. Let's get this open just by pulling it up. And let's see. Oh, okay, cool. There's a nice little pocket for his legs to, to go in so we can move this forward. Be careful you don't crack any of his pieces. And there we are. Probably about the legs too far forward, actually, because it's just supposed to be at an incline, I guess. There we go. Look at that. Uh-oh. <laughs> To shove them down just a little bit further. All right, that's cool. Look at that. Very awesome. Okay. My only concern is when we had Zerg, and Zerg was massive compared to this. Where is Zerg? On the other ship, and I'll show you the other ship in a moment, but I want to show you how different he is here, and I obviously the movie hasn't come out yet, so I don't know how different in size they're going to be in the movie. But I was thinking they were similar in size, not Busby, essentially almost half his size. Because that's a huge difference. Could be. Don't know. Haven't seen the movie. But um, I definitely wanted them to be, if they're supposed to be the same size, I wanted their ships to be the right size in comparison with each other. So let's place them back in here. There we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move this back here. And let's move on to the next uh, ship, the XL02. And great. Here is the Lightyear XL02 with Buzz Lightyear in a different space outfit. Look at that. Pipes ship. Again, hyperspeed series. Made by Mattel. And retractable landing gear again. And these look just so outstanding. Just did that one. Now we're going to do this one. Would love to find these two. And I'm assuming these are all just buzzes. Except this. These actually look like those little ships the Outriders came down in the Infinity War. And then we have these Zyklopses. And I don't know if that's the plural version of it. But alright. Let's get this open. And again. Trying not to destroy our package. this bad boy on out. Carefully pop out our Buzz Lightyear. There we are. And then the ship by lowering this part so we can get one side out and the other. So, again, the movie hasn't come out yet, so I don't know if this is like XL01, XL02, because it shows an evolution of this spaceship. Don't know. But, I mean, that's a pretty simple conclusion if, that's a, if it turns out to be correct. Move this. And I'm really liking the way this one looks. Look at this beautiful sculpt, beautiful design. Look at those engines. You can just pull this down right here. Oh, this is still on here. Pull this forward. Uh oh. I don't have any nails. And this one's fighting me. Put something underneath it to catch it. There we go. That one was a little harder than I would have imagined. Look at our cockpit right there. So, 
both of these look absolutely amazing. This. I think I do like this one a little bit better than the other one. Let's take a look at our Buzz Lightyear. And very similar with the dots printing right there. But otherwise, look how cool that looks. Let's see if the arms move. Oh, this one moved a lot easier than the other figure. So that's pretty good. The legs. Wow, all the way forward and all the way back. Just bend the legs a little bit and the arms because we learned that lesson. So we'll put them right here in the cockpit. Tucks away nicely in there. Oop. Ah, it's like, pick a side. Here we go. Look how incredible this looks. Wow. I'm putting this right next to the XL01. Look how cool that is. Pretty outstanding. Yep. And so let's compare it to Zerg's ship, which is the Zerg fighter ship. And we actually opened this not too long ago, but may as well. And look how cool that looks. We just slid it back in here. There we are. And this one looks pretty big compared to those. Not huge, but definitely a lot bigger. Just as a reminder, this ship looks incredible. Love this design. Love the way this is coming off right here. With these little baby wings for a flare. Let's bring the landing gear down. Seems a lot more solid and heavy feeling. Cockpit opens right there. And here's the Zerg. So, here's again the size comparison. So, I'd be curious to see if this one is supposed to be more aligned with the size of those or if it really is that much bigger in the movie curious to find out and then plus of course the size of Zerg and uh, in his relation to Buzz Lightyear let's put him right here I forgot his head does turn look at that forgot about that his arms of course and legs move a lot smoother kind of bendy no knee joint. So let's put Zerg and then this one you can fire out missiles one on each side that's something that was unique to this that's not something we can do with these smaller ships. Let's get Buzz out of here. Stand him right here if we can stand him. Oh he stood! Did I sound surprised? Yes, I was actually really surprised. Interesting that this Buzz Lightyear, his arms are like pulling in toward his body. Look at that. So. I'm right here next to Zerg on this side. Hopefully he stands up. There we go. Ah! Fell down again. What a difference. What a difference. I don't know if I'm gonna get that one to stand. So, don't know if they're really supposed to be that different in size in the movie. And we will be finding out as soon as the movie comes out. So guys, I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here today. We're definitely gonna be looking for the other ships in this set and can't wait to find them all so if you've not already subscribed to our channel guys please hit the subscribe button below 
the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. Love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these cool new micro action figures and these ships. These hyper speed series ships from the new Lightyear movie. So, and then, um, yeah, we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you guys for watching. Vincent GD's Super Channel G. Peace.